there's the good and there's the bad and uh, uh, the bad things you tend to remember, uh, the good things you tend to forget. There's only so much a textbook can tell us about the experience of war and the experience of the American military. So what we hope to do is be able to give something back to the veterans while also furthering our own education about America's wars. One thing we've learned from our veteran interviews is it just kind of gives us a better understanding of the fact that history is a real thing. It's not just some story that we're told in school, it's something real that affects our everyday lives. It's a rich encounter with living history. Most students have said this is their favorite thing they do during the school year. Um, it's a first-hand account. It's, as one student said, it's not every day that you get to talk to a World War II veteran about World War II, where you talk to a Vietnam veteran about being out in the Tet Offensive. There are two types of typical days in Vietnam, uh, on an operation and not on an operation. But a typical day in the field um, I would lead a patrol. I was the person out front with my dog. And our purpose was to detect the enemy before the enemy detected us. We created the AHS Veterans Project in 2014 and we've come up with 210 interviews so far of primarily Vietnam veterans as we've sought to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War. Through this project we're serving not only just the students and the veterans but as well as the community. For the students, they're gaining a first-hand uh, account of what it was like to go through war, what it was like to go through basic training. These are accounts that textbooks don't provide, that I as a teacher can only give them what I've heard from others. I didn't know that we didn't win the war. I mean, you usually think about America's fighting in the war, you think, oh, we're going to win. I mean, we've won every war we fought in. And it was new to me to know um, that we didn't win. We try to immediately put a copy back in the veteran's hands so that they can bring that home with them, as well as a gift that the students prepare for the veteran. But what we then do is we have a day of debriefing here in the classroom where the students work to complete the Library of Congress paperwork, and we individually package each interview and paperwork in its own folder. We'll often ship 60, 65 interviews at a time to the Library of Congress. For the veterans, it's a way of also giving them their story back, a way of a record to be passed down to their grandchildren, to their great-grandchildren, to know that their life story is going to be here uh, forever. I just love having like a real conversation with the veterans and just really getting to know them because part of the project is we do take some of their life story, what they did before the war, some of their family background, and what they did after the war, what their life is like now, and just having that conversation with them, it feels like a real human moment and it really does help you better understand. One thing that comes out naturally in a lot of these interviews I'm always amazed by is the own student's ability to show human compassion. Um, it's natural that some of these interviews are going to result in some um, emotional moments and to see that student react in a natural way, perhaps reaching their hand across and putting their hand on a veteran's hand to show that they, uh, they sympathize or empathize with the situation that's being shared. We go beyond the traditional war story, the traditional battle stories, to what was it actually like to return home? What was the process of coming back home? Uh, what was the process of packing up to go? So we try to get every detail to capture the whole story. It's a good personal one-on-one -on -one with someone who's been there and you get to learn not from a textbook, not from a video, not from like a book, but you actually get to learn personal experiences and more face-to-face -face, um, information. This project is definitely going to expand in the next couple of years. It already has. It's so come so much further in the last two, three years than it was when it started. And I really hope that if it continues to expand, we can draw a larger sample of veterans, get more diverse stories, get more people who believe different things, people who did different things, different involvements. And I think that would be amazing.